The execution of Eddie Slovak is authorized December 23, 1944 on this day. Jen, Dwight Eisenhower endorses the finding of a court-martial in the case of Eddie Slovak, who was tried for desertion, and authorizes his execution, the first such sentence against a U.S. Army soldier since the Civil War, and the only man so punished during World War II. Private Eddie Slovak was a draftee, originally classified for F because of a prison record, Grand Theft Auto. He was bumped up to a 1A classification when draft standards were lowered to meet growing personnel needs. In January 1944, he was trained to be a rifleman, which was not to his liking, as he hated guns. In August of the same year, Slovak was shipped to France to fight with the 28th Infantry Division, which had already suffered massive casualties in the fighting there and in Germany. Slovak was a replacement a class of soldier not particularly respected by officers. As he and a companion were on the way to the front lines, they became lost in the chaos of battle, only to stumble upon a Canadian unit that took them in. Slovak stayed on with the Canadians until October 5, when they turned him and his buddy over to the American military police, who reunited them with the 28th Division, now in Elsenborn, Belgium. No charges were brought. Replacements getting lost early on in their tours of duty were not unusual. But exactly one day after Slovak returned to his unit, he claimed he was e too scared and too nervous to be a rifleman and threatened to run away if forced into combat. His admission was ignored and Slovak took off. One day after that he returned, and Slovak signed a confession of desertion, claiming he would run away again if forced to fight, and submitted it to an officer of the 28th. The officer advised Slovak to take the confession back, as the consequences would be serious. Slovak refused, and he was confined to the stockade. The 28th Division had seen many cases of soldiers wounding themselves or deserting in the hopes of a prison sentence that would at least protect them from the perils of combat. So a legal officer of the 28th offered Slovak a deal, dive into combat immediately and avoid the court-martial. Slovak refused. He was tried on November 11 for desertion and was convicted in less than two hours. The nine-officer court-martial panel passed a unanimous sentence, execution he'd be shot to death with musketry. Slovak's appeal failed. It was held that he had directly challenged the authority of the United States and that F. Utcher discipline depends upon a resolute reply to this challenge. Slovak was to pay for his recalcitrant attitude and he was to be made an example. One last appeal was made to General Dwight D. Eisenhower, the Supreme Allied Commander. The timing was bad for mercy. The Battle of the Bulge in the Ardent Forest was issuing in literally thousands of American casualties not to mention the second-largest surrender of an American army unit during the war. Eisenhower upheld the sentence. Slovak would be shot to death by a 12-man firing squad in eastern France in January of 1945. None of the riflemen so much as flinched, believing Slovak had gotten what he deserved.